Yo, what's up, guys? Nitro. Got a quick little video for you guys. Because uh, I see a lot of people trying to add clothes to models in uh, VR chat and things. And I see a bunch of issues with it. I figured I'd help you guys out a little bit so that you guys can actually do something with it. So, a lot of people actually get models that have an armature and things in them. And people tell them to get rid of it and auto weight things to the body and make things super nice. Well, you don't have to do that. So, commonly when you import something, it looks something like this. Or you might have a little something different going on. All you want to do is click on the armature and go down here to the old running man. And you can go to the viewport display. Make sure you can either have stick. I, I prefer to have octahedral when there's something that is separate from the body. Such as a jacket. So leave it on that. But you want to turn on in front. Now what you want to first identify is how many bones are there. And does it look like the skeleton structure of what you have. So for me it's a jacket so it stops at the wrist. There's no hands or anything like that. Now, the next thing you want to do is, if you scale, you can see that down there is where the point is that's scaling this, but you can also click on this, and you see how it's still down there, but you can go into here, and you can set the origin to geometry, and you can scale things like this. So, you have it at this point. But, I'm going to use the skeleton, and I'm going to get it to a decent point. I'm not going to try to make this perfect, just showing you guys what to do. Next you want to do is you want to go to pose mode, and as you can see, this is not matching the A-pose. A lot of people will tell you how to sculpt this into place. You don't have to do that. Now, you want to go up here, turn on X to mirror, and you want to get this as close as possible as you can to the arm. You can literally scale the chest, scale the spine, do whatever you need to do to just get it in place. I'm just going to get it remotely into place. I have one already set up that I'll be switching to anyway. So, you just want to get it to where the pose of the arm is somewhat close to what you need. Next thing you're going to want to do is go back into object mode and go over to where this is and you want to click on the wrench. There'll be a thing that says armature here. All you want to do is click this and click duplicate. When you duplicate, this will go crazy and go the other way. All you want to do is click an arrow and click apply down here. Now don't worry, yes this is still like this, but all you need to do, click on this, then go into pose mode, click A. When you do that, it's going to grab everything and you can go to pose you can go to apply, and when you go to apply, you can apply pose as rest pose. Now this is the actual pose of the model, and everything is correct again. So now you're well on your way to figuring this out. So the next thing to do would be to go into object mode, grab this, and go into your sculpting. You can grab, move, shift things around, do what you need to do. Grab the X mode, shift things around, get things looking nice. One thing I will tell you in this mode is try to use blob as much as possible whenever you're dealing with things like this, like the torsos and things, because inflate and deflate does mess with the UV quite a bit. Blob does retain the UV and things pretty much a little bit better. So once you've got that to where you want, you can go back and check out some of my other videos about wireframing and things like that to do your quick sculpting. Once you've got that in place, this is the part where people fig don't really figure things out. And it's the easiest part. So, you already see it has a skeleton on it. And you have a skeleton as well. If you haven't put two and two together, you can use the weight paint from this. It's pre-weight painted to something already. But the way that it is using is using vertex grouping. So, if you go over here and you look, there's a left arm, left elbow, all this stuff right here. If I was to switch this armature right now to the other armature, the middle would move but the arms would not. As a matter of fact, I will show you that. So if I go over here to this and I go to the wrench and I go and I apply modifier or the armature for the armature one, which is my actual armature for the body, and I go to pose and I move, you see, I can move the body, but the arms don't move. See, because the vertexes are actually speaking to each other because these are both named spine. These are both named hips. These are both named chest. So all you need to do to make this completely work is go in here, click on your armature of your actual model, click around and say, okay, that's left arm. Okay, we don't need the wrist. So that's lower arm dot L. This is upper arm dot L. What's this? This is shoulder dot L. What is the name of these? This is left shoulder. This is left arm. This is left elbow. All you have to do is go into here Go into here and change anything left wrist, left arm, left elbow. Change all these to the actual one that is the name of your normal armature and get rid of anything that you are not using. 
such as right wrist, anything that can mess up your armature when you put the two together. Once you have that, you should end up with something like this, which I've already had a working one. So you go to this, you click on it, and you see I changed my name to lower.l, lower, lower, upper, shoulder, everything is named the same. So whenever I go to here and I change this back to armature again, and I go over here, go back into pose, I grab it, I should now be able to move the arms and everything moves correctly. That's how that works. It's speaking to the correct thing. If you want to know if something is right, if you grab the hips and move the model, if everything doesn't move, I have auto IK on, so things are kind of breaking. But if you can't do things like this automatically, you know something's up. If something is up, you just grab the armature, grab here, go into weight paint, you click control, and you click on things, and you check the weights to see if things are right. Now, another thing that people will commonly uh, have an issue with is extra bones, like uh, having extra butt bones and stuff like that. Whenever that happens, you delete the arms and everything and leave the bones, like the butt bones and stuff, of the part of the model that you need that still has weights to it. And then you combine that to the original parent. So say you have butt bones on a pair of pants, but you don't have butt bones on your model. You can grab the butt bones and delete everything but those two bones and then parent them to the hips and then do the same thing. Change all the weights of everything and then it'll work. So another thing is people will get things with the jacket like this one where they'll have this and they'll go to sculpting and stuff and then the UV will be all kinds of messed up. This one's up here for some reason. But if you want to see anything with the UV, if the UV is messed up or if you get into the rendered view and things don't look right, you can go in, see, like this, and hit UV. You can go around over here, gotta remember where it's at. Seams from islands, and then you'll get the seams themselves, so you can go in and fix the seams. And if you have things where, like the antisocial club on my jacket might be stretched out from messing with sculpting, you can go in each individual one of these, go around all these corners like that, and then hit UV and then you can pin this or you can literally just hit P and pin this and re-unwrap it by hitting UV unwrap and it'll make the, all of this will be pinned but the inside will stretch back to where this fits correctly. Now, once you've got about that, the only other thing I can really think of that people may run into is this pink jacket BS. If you run into that, I recommend going in and changing this to what you need it to be whenever in your you're in unity it makes it easier and whenever you bring it into substance painter you actually have the name of the object but say you have a pink thing right here you can go here find wherever the thing is that you need i just have a bunch of jacket textures you can go here and change it and you've got it change the roughness and everything works just about right if you can't find where the texture for it is like it's an mmd or something like that you can commonly come up here to file, and I believe it's external data, and find missing files. It may take a little while, but it'll find the textures and things for you. And if it's a model that has a bunch of random textures like this, I do recommend getting rid of as many of them as you can and making everything on one UV like this. So, this may be a somewhat long video, but I hope this helps you guys get some stuff on your models. If you have a problem or something, you can always message me on Discord or send me a message on Twitter and I'll try to help you guys out. Hope to see you guys with some clothes on your models. See you in the next one.